Hi everybody, it's Nan from the Brazil Public Library and I have another craft for us today. It's going to be uh, marbleizing paper. Easy to do and a little messy as you can tell. So we're going to start out with we need something for our surface. We need gloves. We need good old shaving cream. I've got some watercolor paint or you can use food coloring from your cabinet. You're also going to need something to spread it out with and scrape it off. A lovely ruler works. If you don't have a ruler, I took a paint mixer and just wrapped a little bit of plastic around it. You're going to need something to mix your colors up. So a popsicle stick, a pencil, a knife. Uh, I'm using the back of a paintbrush here. And you'll need some paper. We're also going to need a scraping station and a drying station. So, let's get right to it. We're gonna shake up our shaving cream and we're just going to put a nice pile. Let's see, and it doesn't take too much. We're gonna spread it around. You just want a nice little layer of it. And then, I like the spoon. The spoon just kind of helps smooth it out. Kind of like icing a cake a bit. You want to fill most of your holes and just have a light coating of shaving cream. You don't have to use the whole can. So a can will make you quite a few mixes. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because we're going to be mixing it on up anyway. And I've spread it all out. See, it doesn't have to be perfect, just spread out. Now we're going to take our watercolors and we're just going to drop a few drops. Not a lot. I'm going for some purples and pinks and some blues. And I'm just doing this a little random. We'll throw some yellows in. A little bit of pink. And let's see what we got. How about Okay, doesn't look like much right now, but watch this. And all I'm doing is going through and mixing some of it to get a design. And you don't want to mix too much because it's going to do its own little magic. And that's all there is to it. Now, the fun stuff. We take a piece of paper. We lay it down. We make sure it touches all over just lightly. Okay, here comes the magic. Pull it up and look at that. Looks kind of messy, but watch. Isn't that cool? If you want more color, mix it up a little more. You put that over on the drying station. Let's see, let's add some more here. Just a slight mix and we'll get a completely different design. Another piece of paper. Let's go this way. All I'm doing is lightly, lightly pressing and then peeling. And let's look at this one. Isn't that cool? Now, we can do all kinds of things with this. And we can also make a heck of a mess. Look at that. Watch this. 
all cleaned up. Now, when the paper dries, you can use it for all kinds of things. Let's try some envelopes for our own personal stationery. Nope, not enough. Look, stick it right back down. Add another layer. And what I'm trying to do is be very careful and not get anything in the glue on the envelope. But, look, now it matches. Here's the other one. Perfect. Now, as I was saying, you can do all kinds of stuff with your paper, but anything that is made of paper, for instance, this frame for hanging pictures. Let's do it. This way, you can put artwork, family pictures, silhouettes, even pictures of your dog. Lightly done. I think it needs some more. Let's stick it back in in a different spot. Let's try it this time. Oh, much better. Look at that. Wow, I really like that. And once this all dries, let's not forget, it's just the first stage. Right now it's paper and stationery, or a pretty frame. But, I've come up with a few ideas that you can use. Here, I've used it as wall art with just simple silhouettes. I've taken the paper and I've wrapped it around an empty peanut butter jar to make a pencil holder. Or you could do a taller can and make it a vase or a series of them for art. And here's just a simple frame with some initials inside. The ideas are endless. So there you go. Have fun. And clean up, by the way, super easy. Enjoy, guys. Bye.